Refrigerated shipping containers, also known as reefers, are not so common when building shipping container homes. In this picture, you will see this amazing shipping container home built using reefer containers. As much as they are not commonly used as dry standard containers, reefer containers come inherently with several complications that make them not as popular as their dry container counterparts. In this video you can see we have this magnificent house built using two shipping containers placed side by side set a few meters apart elevated off the ground sitting on a concrete pier foundation. The entire structure is covered with a beautiful gable roof elevated above the containers to create a well sheltered shipping container living space with special reference to the climatic conditions of this region. We have the middle space between the containers serving as the indoor living space. You can see the elevated roof above the containers with ceiling fans to help in air movement to enhance indoor thermal comfort. The containers are given private doors which access the private spaces of the house. This is a view of the living space still showing the lounge areas and the dining spaces. The floor is finished with polished concrete which is durable, cleanable and easy to maintain. This is a closer view of the dining area. I like this butcher block dining table and the bench seating which brings a bit of warmth and life to this saddled indoor living space in between the containers. This is a view of the kitchen space. You will notice the aluminium finish for the shipping container interiors is maintained and that is one of the challenges of using reefer containers. Another thing you'll notice is the exposed electrical ductwork. All the conduits are running above on the surface of the shipping container as opposed to what you would find in standard dry containers. This is also a view of the kitchen, it's an L-shaped kitchen. Everything else looks as beautiful as you would find in any other shipping container, save for a few restrictions. You'll also notice the size of the openings is not as generous as you would expect with the standard containers because it's a bit difficult to cut through the insulation that comes with reefer containers. I like the stainless steel appliances, the amazing kitchen worktop, the exposed open shelving for storage and the beautiful floors that bring a bit of color and ambience to the space. This is the general view of the middle space in between the containers which is basically the dining and the lounge areas. This house has got three amazing bedrooms. This is the view of the first bedroom. You will notice they all occupy the single wide configuration of the shipping containers. The interior walls and ceilings are left intact with the original finishes and those are some of the limitations that make this kind of containers not as popular for building shipping container homes. 
The electrical conduit works are also mounted on the surface since the containers come already fixed with the insulation and therefore is a bit tricky to cut it out to fix or to hide the conduit works. This is a view of another bedroom. Same treatment, same single wide container space. The big glass window and full height sliding glass door enhances the feel of space within this bedroom. It's a view of a similar bedroom. Same treatment, same kind of finishes. The view from another angle will appreciate this also a wall mounted mini split system to enhance indoor thermal comfort. This is a view of the third bedroom. You'll notice a different furnishing, otherwise they still occupy the single wide space of the shipping container. The wall and the ceiling finishes are almost similar to every other bedroom space we showed before. A view of the same bedroom from a different angle, it feels a bit warm and welcoming and you'll also appreciate the floor finishes are equally amazing. A view of the same bedroom from another angle. Big glass windows to bring in maximum daylighting and also to allow for cross ventilation to enhance indoor thermal comfort. You had seen this before, another view of the same bedroom. This is a view of the bathroom. The quality of workmanship is commendable. They still have exposed original container walls. However, the workmanship of all the fittings is quite well done. The worktop and the wash and basin. We have the toilet there and this beautiful wall mounted bathroom mirror. It's a view of the bathroom from another angle. There's a bit of storage right there. It was even an extra window for lighting and ventilation. The view of the same bathroom you'll appreciate the quality of finishes is quite good. This is a view of an addition showing the wash washing machines to help you do your linen. Good. So that's what you have there. This beautiful house is listed as a guest house on Airbnb located in Costa Rica. Feel free to check it out using the links in the description below. You'll find that there are so many other reasons why refer containers are not generally attractive for building shipping container homes. However, if you want to find out what other nine reasons make refer containers not suitable or popular for building shipping container homes feel free to check out our comprehensive building guide on how to build a shipping container home we have put together an amazing building guide the most comprehensive shipping container home building guide you can find on the market this guidebook includes over 300 pages of expert tips, step-by-step -step instructions, real examples, full color pictures, and professional illustrations structured into 14 detailed chapters. Inside the book, you'll find a free bonus, a floor plan of our most popular design, a real world case study, and a checklist to plan your building costs. Download two free chapters of the book now. Grab your copy today using the link in the description below and start building. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us via email using info at sheltermod.com. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.